Um, I'd like to make a resolution to permit a uh, park bench uh, dedicated to Julie Tuck. Ursula Julian, be permitted. Second. In the town park. In the town park. 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 And the position located is indicated by Mr. Webb. Very good. Thank you. All right. Second? second. I second it. No, come to think of any discussion. No, Robert. Any discussion? I'm sorry, Rush. I don't know if I'm going to sign on it. Okay. Otherwise, we'll signify by saying aye. Aye. Congratulations, Sue. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, now, Decision on the senior citizens who are going home. Do you have a couple of those? Yes, I'm sorry. Okay, okay. So I'm authorizing me to. Anybody else have any that I overlooked, per se? Very good, then. Uh, uh, announcements this time. Uh, yeah, no, I just. We got. Uh, sure, everybody got the very nice letter from the town historian. Uh, about the the uh, Hudson, Henry Hudson Symposium. It's a very nice letter. Thank you very much. It's nice You're to welcome. be acknowledged. It's a very nice Thank you. Thank you. And I'll have you know that education is a good investment that uh, that uh, Mr. and Mrs. Bushes will pro will be giving us a program, uh, a report, an oral report on uh, on what they uh, learned there. And we will be great. Yeah. So, uh, yes, November 15th. Okay, Thank very good. Uh, any, any announcements, Ted? Any other? Uh, um, I want to be pain in the ass. I'm going to ask for the town board's help about item number one on the agenda. This is something I started documenting and writing letters a year and a half ago about the trucks. More strongly, I started in July. Um, told time and again the proposal was coming, it's not here. I went and started checking with manufacturers. We're probably going to have a four month turnaround time. Which means if we ordered them today, we'd be into February. Yes. Correct. And that's, I would like town board to co-sign a, a very strong letter that we have this by the next meeting and we can do what we can do to get this this is a problem. We need a fallback position if, Ted, on this. We have to be able to. Uh, unfortunately, and well, the only fallback position I can think of is if they're town vehicles, if we have to buy them ourselves and put them in the budget. Because the bottom line is, is I can take you down there right now and take this pen and stick it up through the farm foam floors. Right, what we have and available, though. We have put the money in the budget. It's yeah. like pulling teeth to get it done. And it's, it's becoming unacceptable to the point where is somebody going to get hurt? Are we not going to be able to provide the services that we need to? Is are one of the citizens going to get hurt? We had a member of the public here screaming at us to do something about it. And what, what are we going to do? It's, it's not our position to do so. But what are we going to do? And how long are we as a board going to stand by? And it's not, you know, I understand. Is there a conflict? Yeah. The first time around the proposal came up, there was huge concern. We knew in advance we weren't going to have money to put forth for it. But what what can we do? What are we going to do? And I say start with writing a letter saying, you have been asked time and time again for this. That will be no problem. If you want the trucks, and I would like the whole town board to sign it, unless they feel uncomfortable I doing it, because, well, because something has got to be done. We are offering Monday. Such letter will be composed and will be signed and will be sent. As far as purchasing the trucks, I myself have no reservation to do so because right now we have no trucks and we have to get them. I've been in contact with the financing agent concerning this, uh, Mr. Ranger. We've talked about these purchases and uh, the amounts seem to be right. I mean, we're negotiating for lower terms and it's highly doable. If we do not get any response by the next meeting, we will have to initiate a course of action ourselves if for no other reason for, for public safety reasons. If we don't, the problem with the, that schedule is if we don't get, I mean, we're at the end of October, November, December, January, end of February. We're, we're out of winter. We've done nothing positive. We have an opportunity. We're told the work is done. I'm given numbers verbally. I'm given no, nothing in writing. 
and we have put money in the budget to do this. I mean, we went overboard. Everybody that sits this at, at this table took a good thrashing after we amended our adjusted our budget so that we had a realistic tax level. Everybody at this table, all differences aside, everybody at this table took a good beating. And part of that was we made sure that there was adequate funding to do certain things that need to be done. Have to be. This isn't a bell, it isn't a whistle. You're, you're, I mean, we, we lost the 68. So now we can rely on the 70 or the 75. I mean, and you can go down there and punch holes in the things. I think we've, I think we've discuss, discussed uh, a plan of action, and it will be instituted if there's no, if there's no proposal brought, brought forth. 